Hello, this is Craig, and I thought I would show the other half of the game, or at least pieces of it. I'm really just showing this to keep myself um, on the clock, as it were. Uh, last time you saw the adventuring and combat versions, those have been changed a little bit. Uh, combat in particular has been made deeper, but uh, this is the other half, which is the hero version. Right now, this is the tutorial, and you can choose that four of any of these four children. Uh, and I'll just pick this one here. Uh, and this is a mock-up of the town, of, of what will eventually be the town screen, which is a series of these sorts of simple um, houses and other things like parks and so on. And you would navigate through them by moving, by clicking on lefts and rights and through doors. Um, in the fuller version, I think what will happen is there will be specific slots that characters can fill. So instead of being painted into the scene like this, they would be icons and they would be moving. Um, I don't have any plans to make them into tile maps. I think that it should be just fine to have a whole bunch of uh, crudely drawn um, things like this. I think that would be just, just fine. Uh, the four characters are all here, and the reason for that is because as you progress through the tutorial, uh, you team up with various of them and you learn how to do some of the social stuff. Um, here is uh, the guy next to the guy I picked, or next to the girl I picked. Uh, so if you click on them, you get an overview. Now, if there were any options we could take, there should be a chat over here, but I, I haven't implemented it yet. If there were to be any options we could take, like recruit, change equipment, and so on, those would pop up over here. Uh, and if he had multiple tiers, the tutorial guys do not have multiple tiers, but if he had multiple tiers of moves, we would be able to click through each. Uh, he has a diary. All of the characters have a diary in which they keep uh, the, the history of what they've done, but um, they don't let you read them. Uh, we are, of course, this lady, and we can read our own diary if we would like. There's only two entries right now. Uh, but the idea is that initially your diary is basically a um, expanded tutorial. It keeps track of what you've been taught in the tutorial, and you can reference it whenever you need to. Uh, the uh, um, as the game goes on, you will eventually be able to read other characters' diaries when you've convinced them to be your stalwart ally or friend, and they will contain uh, various uh, information and clues and uh, uh, maps and so on. Um, also, equipment is important, but I haven't implemented it at all, so it doesn't happen. Uh, the art style I'm going to go with is uh, this sort of shadow puppet, um, black with white bits. And I'm used mostly doing that just because it is easy to draw, but it's also fairly easy to make the um, stick figures, or the blobby characters, fairly expressive. So uh, it's, not a, uh, it's not a bad art style, it's just a, an easy to draw one. That's, um, that's the update.